Welcome back. In the next two video lessons, we're gonna talk about protein. Now, when I say protein, you probably think muscle, right? And that's important for our horses. We need protein to build muscle, build top line, but protein also has a lot of other functions in the body. Think of hooves, hair, manes and tails. Also other functions in the body require protein. Now, most horses are gonna get their protein from their roughage or forage. And when we look at average haze, about 10% of that is protein. Now that can range anywhere from say eight to 14%. But when you look at the horse diet, roughage, and you break that hay down, you can see, yes, most of it is that fiber, which we talked about, very important for energy, but then you have about 10% protein. Now proteins are broken down into amino acids. Amino acids are the building blocks of these proteins. And in the next video lesson, we're gonna talk a little bit more about that and how important they are. But think of it like this, all these different amino acids can build different types of protein. So if you're missing certain amino acids, you can't build that certain protein. And again, proteins, when they're digested from their forage, or maybe some other sources, when they get into that small intestine, the enzymes like protease is gonna break it off and it's gonna cleave off those individual amino acids or peptides that are then absorbed into the bloodstream of the horse. Now, like I said, these amino acids, these building blocks are then used by individual cells to make those specific protein. So it's really using DNA, communicating it through RNA, and then through scaffolding and using these amino acids, it builds these proteins. That's what makes biology so exciting. It's when you think about it, what's going on in the cell, it blows your mind. It really does. But taking it back to the horse, the horse's individual cells are taking those sources of amino acids and creating things like keratin for their hooves or their hair, you know, that lustrous mane or tail. It's important that they have those specific amino acids to make those in the body. And then, like I said, proteins have many, many functions. And one of them is like as an enzyme. So there are certain proteins in the body that are either catabolic or anabolic. Catabolic is breaking things apart. So you can take amylase as an enzyme and it will cleave starch to make glucose or protease. Like I said, it can break down proteins. Then there's other types of enzymes that are protein that are anabolic. So they make things. So they'll take glucose and make glycogen for later use or fatty acids for later use in the horse. And then proteins can be hormones. So two types like insulin, which helps with glucose regulation in the blood, or oxytocin. When a foal suckles, that tells mom's brain to produce oxytocin, which is a protein hormone, which then circulates in the blood down to the mammary glands for milk letdown. So proteins are cool. They're fun. But I think it's important to... The take home message of this is we don't think of protein just as muscle when it comes to nutrition. Very critical. Yes, they are very critical to developing a good top line, making sure they're great athletes. All of that protein is important, but protein has many other functions in the horse. And that's why it's something that we, we really focus on when we talk about nutrition. So in the next lesson, we're going to continue on this discussion about protein and amino acids. And then, you know, how much does your horse need each day? So look for that.